What up, people? Welcome back to part two of our reaction to Better Call Saul, season five, episode 10, titled Something Unforgivable. Nacho takes drastic measures to get out of Lalo's sight. This by far was our favorite scene. Jeez, oh, it's about to go down. It's about to go down, it's about to go down. You better not. I like my nacho cheese. Mm. Mm. Uh, hey, Hack, what's up, Val? He's gonna think we're gonna But it's 3 in the morning. You don't think it's weird that he's walking around? There's probably always people in the alley, really. But damn, the fact that he saw you right there is enough to be like, I didn't see him at that time when this shit happened. Mm. Oh, fuck. Hey. Hey. Awake. Yo, Lalo is stupid. <laughs> Lalo said, why are you up at 3 in the morning, bitch? He's sitting here with that fire. No. Chill it. Oh, <laughs> damn, right there, too. Is that that, though, what you call it? Pit? I don't want one. Tomorrow, show you around. She's probably not even. I mean, I've been up at 3 in the morning, so I'm just like a mess. <laughs> yeah, I never see. Puppy would always do that. Now, or maybe two. Oh no! What you mean it's enough? When it's like this, that's when I can think. There's no way. That shit catches up to you. Can't sleep for two hours. Are you my best day? Day? Some people they call it a curse. I like it. I'd rather get some shine. His eyes. And yet here we are. I think he goes back for the innocent people that are gonna get hurt. Got anything stronger? Now nah, you're talking. Yeah, go get it for me. In the bar, bottom shelf. You go get it. He ain't gonna go. Two glasses. Three. Fuck. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's too smart. Everything smells at everything, like. What is he doing? Is he gonna try to kill all of us? Can he go around, baby? Drop himself a dagger. Damn, not He's gonna set a fire. He's gonna set a fire. Yeah, he's gonna set the place on fire. And have everybody evacuate. Smart. Very smart. I thought you got lost. Aw, <laughs> uh, that's Lalo's house. You know, he's gonna be pissed if he lives through this. <laughs> you know, not for nothing, it'd be more exciting if he was to live through this because then you see him in season six. Yes. You ever had Luis Crece? I don't think so. This sucks. What the hell is that? Oh! I'm like, oh, I'm gonna. Morons have no respect. That was just to get him out. Okay, now go to the door. Leave, Nacho. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait, what if you need like a pass there or something? Go. Something's gonna happen. Take his 
gonna get away, I think. He can't get away. No. Yup, he's gonna get away. How the fuck? And why was it only two guys? I thought there was more than that. This motherfucker got a secret. <laughs> what is that? Yo. Smart. 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 Yo. Smart. They're not gonna find him in there. They're not even gonna know to look Yo. down. Why don't close it? You should have closed it. Look at that! Smart. That's smart though. Yo! How long ago did they do this? I bet you they didn't know about that. He, if he gets to Nacho, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, it's really Nacho. Yeah. I hope he, sh he should have been in the car and gone. That. Fuck. This fucking crazy. This motherfucker's getting away. He's gone. He got out. That's not gonna end it. No. They better not. He did that on purpose. You think? Must be a trap. Why would he leave because that open for them? He did that for a reason. It's either a bomb or he's something's gonna set something off. Yo, if he's able to kill them all at once. Why would he close it though? That gave him more of a lead. There's, there's a reason why. There might be something that sets off a bomb. I bet you there's something down there that's gonna kill them. They're gonna die. is Kim going over with Saul the money they'd make if they were to ruin Howard. And Saul thinks he's off the hook! That was smooth. A little of everything. That was very that smooth. Was very smooth. Mike is going to call him so and say he got away. Sounds good. Ted Riper was willing to go to 26 million. <clears throat> well, uh, a third of that is 8.5. Mm-hmm. And 20% of that is... Around 2 mil. For them, they get 2 mil. Ah, uh, but it's not happening. We're not talking about a bar trick here. We would have to hurt him. Mm -hmm. Hurt him bad. Howard would have to have done something unforgivable. At the end of it, he might never be able to practice law again. Yeah, that's not... That's not I mean, he doesn't deserve so that. That's so fucked up. And who knows if we could pull it off. She might be already have an idea on a case from when she was in that room. We're talking about a career setback. Kim! A career setback. For one lawyer. That don't matter. Yeah, I know you get up a lot of people. I, I get it, but it's not you. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's me. She ain't backing down. Guys like Bonnie Clyde. You shouldn't be, right? Now. She's weak then. She's not. Yeah, they are just alike. <laughs> Soft shocked. He's like, you're talking like me. That's something he would have done. The fact that he's trying to talk her out of it is hilarious. That's the, <laughs> the funniest part about it is like he's telling her not to do it. The episode ends with Lalo showing us he knows good and well who hired the hit. Oh, bitch. They were all fucking tra trained professionals and they got taken out by one guy. One guy you couldn't get. One guy. Y'all had one job.
Yeah, that's why he's looking at those drinks. Not until it's gone. I would think the same thing. I'm like, oh, I'm funny. Set me You're up. Gone. Yeah, I'd be like, he set me up. Let's get a phone conversation. Let's get like another car waiting for him or something. Oh. Oh, that's going to make him so mad. Shit. He's pissed now. I mean, he's already pissed, but he's really pissed. My thoughts. It was weird seeing in this episode kind of a role reversal between Saul and Kim. Saul is clearly shaken up by everything that has happened, and Kim is acting like she could care less. Good night. Saul doesn't seem like he wants to ruin Howard. Throwing bowling balls and hoes is one thing, but Kim is talking about ruining the man, so I don't know what to think about Kim right now. Also, what's up with the 20 new pro bono cases Kim took on? Is there an angle there to get something on Howard with one of those cases? Lalo is funny as hell. But he's also so intense. It was sad that a lot of innocent people who simply worked for him were killed. The way Lalo had a secret getaway was smart as hell, and you can't deny that him taking out all the assassins was badass. I'm scared now though, because Lalo's going to be out for blood. I know Saul, his two goons, Mike and Gus, aren't going to die because they were all in Breaking Bad, but what if something happens to Kim? Kim was not in Breaking Bad. In this episode when Saul and Mike were talking, did they do some foreshadowing there? <laughs> if anything happens to her... I hope the worst that happens is Kim is almost hurt and that scares her enough to break things off with Saul. I hope they don't kill off her character. This was a very good episode I enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It took me less than a month to finish off season 5. Drop a comment down below, share my video, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Bye guys!